we've looked offensively. And uh, I thought Peyton and Russ, I, I won't count Russ's last turnover. He got fouled on the sideline. So I thought he was really, I thought Peyton and Russ were terrific at distributing the basketball. I knew the red team wasn't going to win because the white corky especially picked up the defense. And the difference, obviously, in the game for them was, you know, one team turned it over 11 times and the other team turned it over 25 times. So I thought the white team, especially Peyton and Russ, did a great job of protecting the basketball, doing really good things. Peyton's playing great basketball. Uh, but I like the offense. I like the pace of the game. Uh, the red team got tired in the second half a little bit as well. A lot of good things. Much, much better offense than last week. And uh, we're still not, we still don't have our offense that we're going to run during the season in yet. Um, we're just showing um, Manhattan College the offense that they already know. Just Montrez Harrell was the only one that shouldn't have, he should have let Gorky go on the one play. The other play was no big deal. And it's Montrez. Yeah, it, it, players always get hurt when they miss the shot. And when it goes in, they never get hurt. Especially <laughs> freshmen. <laughs> Could you mention out there Tim, Tim's improvement? In the Very game. much so. It's startling. Um, you know, it's, it's, Walk-ons that come in here really, really get a lot better than he has. And I'm not afraid to throw him in, in any situation. He probably won't play a lot of minutes, but I'm not afraid if we have an injury, he's more than suitable to step in and play well. Really improved his jump shot. Is it just a matter of every day working and just getting better? I mean, yeah, I think our individual instruction has really paid off this last week. With the amount of volume of shots we, we've gotten up, I think it looks... Shows with Wayne Blackshear, it shows with uh, all our guys, Peyton Siever, Russ Smith, all of them. Gorky had a bunch of turnovers last time, today, two turnovers and six steals. Is that just. Yeah, if Gorky would just move more on the baseline, Russ, Peyton, Luke, and then Kevin, when he gets a little more experience, will get him the ball. They're so fast that you got to pick them up and rotate. If Gorky would get closer to the baseline like he did at the end of the game when he got those two dunks, he would score a lot of points. Is he coming along? Though, you know, last Who are you week, talking about? He, last week you said he really needs to get to work. Has he gotten to work? Very much so. Very big improvement in a week. On Tuesday, Tom George was pretty adamant that he wants you to sign the, the five-year extension. Have you any more thoughts on that? He said 70. I'm only 60. <laughs> <laughs> five, five beyond the 2017 is what he's looking for. Five beyond 2017. You know, I... They're all talk. They never make me an offer. You know, I think it's a PR <laughs> stunt. I really do. I think it's a PR stunt. It's make believe we're offering and don't offer them. No, I'm only kidding. Yeah, it's something probably will develop. Uh, they know I'm not going anywhere. You know, it's um, uh, the Lakers aren't walking through that door. Miami, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what things would you like to see better from Gorky from defense? I mean, you know, small and large, small picture. Big picture. You know, I'm pretty pleased, to be honest with you. The only thing I'd like to see, I love the high outlets and the pace and looking up the court. I'd like to see that every single play because good things happen. With our quickness, <coughs> good things happen, and we're, and we're having a tough time doing it consistently. What you talk about, not a lot of places we give the women that opportunity to do scrimmage out there before, and then you talk about your relationship. Really I told him to do more. I told him, you know, he said, I want to just do 10 minutes running time. I said, do, do a game. I don't care. We, we're not going anywhere. We have a great, it's not only Jeff, our tennis coach, soccer coach, baseball coach. We're all very, very close. And anything that we can do to help each other in recruiting and support, we all do. It's the closest athletic department that I've ever been involved with. You know, sometimes you're in your own your own cocoon and you just worry about your own sport. That's not the case here. Even with our team, players, like our players, like Russ Smith took off his clothes last week and his upper body and painted his body red for a women's um, soccer game. And, uh, you know, our guys support women's volleyball. Uh, so it's, it's, it's all of us. And it's it's first time it's, I've seen that. So it, it's, it's a great spirit here. They shot pretty well from beyond the arc, you know, Luke and, and Wayne and, and even Tim. Um, can you talk about, you know, 
that doesn't seem to be, you know, there's so much talk before the season, well, that's going to be the Achilles heel, and you got guys that can knock down some shots. Well, you know Luke can consistently. I think the biggest mistake our guys made tonight is they kept taking the three-point shots, a very easy shot, but they always stepping two feet beyond beyond the line. they got to learn to step in. And I, like I said before, I don't, I don't think we'll be a great three-point shooting team, uh, but I don't think we have to be. I don't think we'll be a poor three-point shooting team. I said I think we'll make seven, eight a game. Um, and that, that's... It's not our weakness, but I don't think it's, it's, it's going to be a strength either. I think our, our strength is going to be our speed, our quickness, our unselfishness. Anything else, Coach? Coach, you mentioned the uh, guys getting more shots as, the, as it's going along, and you specifically mentioned Wayne Blackshear. I just wonder if you talk a little bit about him and, and maybe just the shooting. I think, I think, look, Wayne is definitely not the player I recruited in high school. They were, I go to some high school games where he has eight, nine block shots. He has 17 rebounds, and he was a great... I saw him play in a championship game where he went down and he was down one, drew the offensive foul, went down and scored, and then blocked the shot at the buzzer to win it. Well, think about this. Great rebounder, great shot blocker, great defensive player. Well, what, what do you have to use to do those things? You shoulder. And, you know, when you're coming off an injury mentally, you know, you, you just afraid to do that. I'm, I'm just actually very surprised at Luke Hancock and what he's doing mentally. So Wayne is about 60, 65% of what I saw in high school, but he, he is, like Luke, he has torn both shoulders apart. So it's going to take him some time to get over it. But what, he, there's no, no doubt in my mind he will get over it, and he will be the player he was back then. But it probably won't take a half a season. You know, so we're, we're very patient. We have a very deep team. He's not going anywhere, so it's um, you know we'll be very patient with him. It, it takes time to come off uh, injuries like that. Yes, thank you. Thank you.